Hi YouTube, this is Tim here. In the course of making PVC bows and videos and posting them on YouTube, I've become acquainted with a number of people that are doing similar things online. One of those people is Justin from Mountain Bow Works. And he's gone ahead and wanted me to review a bow for him, take a look at it, and tell you what I think. Right now, this is as I received it just a few minutes ago, came uh, from the uh, postman, dropped it off at the door. All I've done is I've removed some labeling to protect the uh, names of the innocent, so to speak. So right now, let me go ahead and unbox it. I feel the need to recommend that people be very, very careful with these things. Back when I used to work in a uh, retail shop, I managed to slice myself up pretty good because I was careless. If they're sharp, you might not even know you're bleeding until you see the stain. Okay, so it fits very nicely in a very small package. That's great. And the packaging is very nice. Bubble wrap, which will protect the bow very well. Let's just very carefully go and... Again, that's another reason you want a really sharp one, since you don't have to press and just slice the tape. There we go. I think I recognize that shape. So it's in a bow sock. Fits very nicely, by the way. The bow sock's just the right size for it. Go ahead and put away the razor, since I don't think we'll need that anymore. All right. Oh, man, look at that. Gotta get that bow sock over the grip. Yeah, the bow sock is very, very tight on there. There we go. Just a little pop. I just try not to use too much force when I'm doing things like that. Out of probably unnecessary caution and respect for the product. <clears throat> so there we go. Let me just set that down. Make sure we can get the entire thing in view. That is lovely. You can probably tell this is where I do most of my uh, my YouTube videos and working and shaping right here on this kitchen cart. So this is one of the ones that he styled, I believe, like a Turkish Turkish bow. Right here you have the wood sias, which he's inserted into the into the PVC pipe, wrapped the tip, wrapped below the. Uh, the knock, painted around the knock. Yeah, very elegant, very elegant. Put some, I believe horsehair he said it was, attached to the tip of one of the ends. I think he said his sister had helped him decorate. Sister, perhaps wife, I forget. Had helped him decorate. This is just beautiful. Yeah, very lovely. A 
along with the decoration on the side of the bow, imitating the decoration that would be done on the side strip of leather. The front looks like a faux wood finish with the design. Let's make sure we can see that. Yeah, look, it looks shows up good in the camera. The handle is wrapped and looks like it has some sort of finish to it. It's fibrous, but it looks like it's been glued down or it's held together. So it's 42 inches long, and that looks like it says 45 pounds, although the, the end of the four looks like it might have rubbed off, so it could also be 15 pounds, but I think it's 45 pounds. And I can't quite make out what's here on the bottom. Uh, oh, at, at 24 inches. Got it. 45 pounds at 24 inches. The Maker's Mark, Mountain Bow Works, and I'm assuming there's a signature there too. Very nice. And the other Sia. So it looks like it's made out of. Well, there you go, some nice light wood. It definitely feels a little less dense than the oak that I've used before, which should be good. The string is a braided string. And let me go get my ruler and we'll measure it and get all the dimensions out. By the way, the PVC is nicely tapered from the end to the sia. That's nice, elegant, very comfortable. That's the way to do it. Three and a half inches exposed at the uh, bottom, three inches exposed from the top. The kasan, that should be this fairly rigid portion here, I'll just do it to the uh, to where the bend begins, seven inches, six inches if you wanna just go to the end of the where the wood sea ends probably. From the bend to the center, another five, from there to the end of the handle would be about another three and a half. The handle is five and a half inches long. And just over an inch wide at the very, very center. There are two arrow passes here on the left and right. Look like they've been cut out of a uh, rawhide or leather. Very nice. And also decorated too, by the way. That's a nice touch. Okay, so I see that the string had been attached with a rubber band. That's always a good good way to do it. Another way that I had learned to do it was to wrap the rubber band around through the loop and then attach it to the, the string, or the, to the knock. But that doesn't work as well with these sort of bows, which are already in a semi-strung position, unfortunately. Because with a normal C-shaped bow, it holds it tight, and that's just perfect. But anyway, this is nice. It's good that it retains it. I don't think I mentioned, although there was faux wood on the back, or on the, on the belly, there's faux horn. So, looks like black shoe polish applied after it's been sanded. And it looks very nice. See up here, this would be the section where a, a rear piece of leather would be applied. Yeah, lovely, lovely Turkish style bow. Let me go ahead and string that up now. Let's come over. The knock fits the string very well, and the string loops are about four inches long. So there it is. Here's the finished bow. The brace height is about five to five and a half inches. Let me take the two 
two and find out for sure. Yep. Five and a half inches. Let's make sure you can see. All right. There we go. So 24 inches. That should be almost to my nose. When I draw to the side of my mouth, it's 26. When I draw to the back of my jaw, I draw 28. So from there to there should be the tip of my nose. Draws very nicely. I like the the overall shape of it too. This looks very similar to the the little dwarven bow that he made. If anybody hasn't seen, please come on at least to the Google Plus community and you can check out some of the work that he's posted. It's been very beautiful. In the show notes down below, you'll also see links to his Facebook page and any other associated page like his Etsy page. So check it out. It's well worth seeing. If this is the, the sort of stuff that he's turning out, I think you'll be very pleased if you, uh, you ever decide to, to get a bow for yourself. Very nice. Yep. Here's the bow. Check for straightness. I like to rock it from one side to the other so you can pull the, hold it in the handle. See where the handle, the uh, uh, one see it pops up, and then the other. And you can just tell if it's square that way, if it's all in line. The alignment's pretty darn good. So then I suggest that we go outside and give it a little shoot. Here we are again. I have the Jacob Mountain Bow Works Ottoman Turkish style bow here in my tillering tree with a pulley. So I'm going to go ahead now and using the scale just check it at various lengths and remember it was braced at about five and a half inches. Just make sure it's set up square. Alright, perfect. it's drawn 26 pounds. At 22 inches, it's drawn 29.3 pounds. And at 24 inches, it's drawing 32 pounds is what I'm reading. And let me drop it back down and we'll catch the ratings on the other side. Returning to 22, it's about 26. Returning at 20, it's about 22. Okay, now it bends very nicely, so I don't, it does not in any way, shape, or form look like it's in danger of collapsing. He said it was 42 inches long, which is shorter than I usually make them, but very authentic for a Turkish style flight bow. So a short draw would be normal. Let me see, let's see, let's draw it again once more and see how the weight changes. To 20, we have 25, 22, we have 28, 24, we have 31.6 pounds. I'm tempted to go a little bit farther, but because this is where he uh, stated the bow should be drawn to, I won't. This wasn't meant to be a torture test. Well, for what it's worth, hitting 20 again is 22 pounds on the return. I always like to record those things. You, it gives you an idea of how the bow fatigues as you draw it and as you hold it. So there we go. The next step is to take it out and shoot it. It seems to me a little bit lighter than it was intended to be, because I think it said it was 45 pounds. 
it was supposed to be about 45 pounds. And it seems like it draws up more like 35 pounds at a, at a full draw. But that's okay. By the way, the string is very nice. I've never used a Flemish twist string before. All the ones that I do are the endless loops, and it, it feels weird in the hand because I'm expecting to have the serving, the central serving on the string, but it's not there. But it's very nice. So let's go out back and uh, give it our shoot. Here we are out back with the Jacob Mountain Bow Works Turkish horse bow. So there it is. We've got four carbon arrows right here. And the target there. So let's give it a little shoot test. I will be shooting it off the left hand side with a three fingered draw. The first note is since it's a Flemish twist, the string is a little bit too narrow for my knocks, so they won't pop on. I'm gonna have to hold them them on myself, which is okay, but I'm not used to that. Let's see. Shooting a bit low and left. Oh, that's certainly not low anymore. It actually is pretty snappy. I'm not used to the string at all. It's... Let's see, the arrows are shooting left, which means they're probably too stiff for it, which makes sense. The carbon arrows are suitable for about a 45 to a 60 pound bow. They shoot really well in that range. This bow is a little bit lighter than that, especially with a shorter draw. So it's not going to, uh, to shoot quite uh, spot on with those arrows. Get some properly spined arrows at about say, 30, 35 pounds, maybe 40 pounds, and I think it would work beautifully. Right now, it's uh, it's fun, it's nice. Like I say, the string is a big departure from what I'm used to, so that'll be interesting to get used to a, a different type of string. I've never done a Flemish twist myself, and uh, I think it's a very nice bow. The paint job is just gorgeous. It's really nice. I like the way the sias were uh, were inserted. Looks like. The, uh, the front was heated and it was inserted that way, keeping the back nice and flat. That's a very good technique. And I especially like that. The back end was tapered, the front was left. The whole. I think that looks just smashing. So, there is the Jacob Mountain Bow Works Ottoman Turkish style uh, felt bow. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you give him a look. Go take a look at his stuff. Follow him on Facebook if you can. I mean, he's doing some very cool stuff, and it is fun to see. He's one of those guys that does some uh, very impressive things that I'm, I'm really pleased to have in our little PVC archery community. So, Jacob, thanks for sending this out so we can take a look at it, and I hope everybody enjoyed the review. By the way, just a side note. I just drew it a tiny bit more than was recommended to my uh, the side of my mouth. That would be a 26-inch draw. And the arrows fly a lot straighter. The, that's now getting within the range of their spine. So, hope that helps with anybody if they're looking at the bow, the arrows, considering anything like this. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.